Welcome back, Reverend Big John's backyard fishing. We got the lovely wife here with us today, Sister, Sister Pam Johnson. Now let me just tell y'all real quick, this ain't her stick. She's out here because of our anniversary. This is my anniversary present. My wife gets to fish with me. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for 22 years of marriage. And I'm looking forward to a nice day on the water we've had recent floods here and the water has been muddy so i don't know how well we're gonna do we're gonna try to figure that one out but i'm not gonna keep the wifey out long <laughs> unless they start hitting rainstorm is still supposed to be coming around 11 we'll be out of here by then so just wanted to welcome y'all back we'll be back in a second once we start fishing and I locate a spot that I think is uh, pretty good to start fishing in. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. Welcome back. Urban Big John's backyard fishing. Today we're going to start her on a little Senko. I'm going to set it up for her, of course. Bring it through the head. Push it up, pull the finger down there, bring the top hook in. Good breeze. Let's get her to snap. Right. What you want to do, Sister John, <laughs> is first get this untangled. And so well, this is a spin caster, generally. You want to open that bell and hold that in the line. Because oh, okay. if you don't, when you open the bell, it's just going to fall. So in order to pitch it out, you want to hold that and just kind of flip it out. When you flip it, you let it go. And then once you let it go, close the bell up. And you wait for the line to move. Tighten up something like that. And you'll be able to tell most of the time when a fish hit it. Sometimes you can't tell because the line that just moved, it hit it so softly, depending on what kind of mood they in. And then there's a lot of grass right here, a lot of debris because of all this the storm stuff, so you can get stuck. Just kind of pull it more until you pull it all the way through. Think you got that? Good, I'll try. You get good at that and you really want to let it go. Once again, you pull the bell back, hold on to it. Flip it over here and let it go. And the key is to make sure you close the bell up because if you don't close the bell up, it'll get deep tangled all up in here. You always want to make sure before you start turning, this thing is right where it is so that it won't get tangled up. Once you get tangled up, you ain't going to be able to do nothing stop until we get the tangle out. All right? All right, so let's see what you got. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, uh. Nope. See this? I always want to make sure that's not tangled up. So. Now you can lower it all the way down.
I'll take your bail up. Oh. Lift it up. Hold on to the, the string while you're doing it. <laughs> so up is cast down? Oh, yeah. Now I can cast that? Now you're in a bad position to cast it. So now you want to close the bail back up. Yep. Yeah, let it go. Alright, so then you just bring it back up. Right there. Yeah. Now open your bail. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's right. It ain't gotta be perfect on there. You just wanna when you open your bail, it'll come up. Then go into your hand. But it seems like my fingers are not placed right. No, you got it. It's, it's, that's the right finger. Just bail it up. There you go. Close your bail. I'm real because you, you let it go too soft. Kind of push that one. So bring it to about right there. You can take it to the side and just kind of let it go. Flip your bail back up. When it's like that, just pull it up and make sure you're in that like that versus it being all uh, scrunched up. And then slowly bring it, drop your rod down, tighten your tip, tighten the line up, and then drag by pulling it up. Pull your rod up. If you're stuck on grass, you just gotta pull a little bit harder to get through it. <laughs> let it go, no, let it go. Let it go. Just bring it back around, there you go. Nope, you gotta hold it first. Oh, okay, that's what I'm doing. You want, yeah, yeah, you wanna grab it with that index finger. Now go ahead and flick that thing out. Index finger, you can grab him with your top one. That's your index. There you go. So with the bail up. Oh, see, right, right now it would twist all up. As soon as that thing releases, close that bail up. Pull your rod back to make sure it's tight again. I didn't have a, an easier rod for you, so. Nice, twist it up. So let me show you something. You got a fish on. <laughs> How about that? You had a fish on. I'm I'm sitting there trying to move this thing around. So we know they in a they will bite now. So had you been reeling. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> this would have been her first fish. But I think because I she get, I, I got the rod and reeled. I'm trying to just reel it in, but the fish was on. So. Yeah. Yeah, he fine. If it was a bigger boy, no, nah, I don't want to just drop him. He heavy. Them little things, they're light. They go right back to wherever they're going. Well, that's a good sign. So, like I was saying, when you hold it like this, you can flip it like this and let it go. As soon as you do that, you may want to hold it, put that up, get your rod tight again. Once you get it tight, then you can do whatever you got to do to it. But if you don't, if you like, you know, do a, a soft cast, like, and then just wait and then pull it down, you're gonna get caught up with all that. So it's kind of a toss, tighten up. And 
and it'll keep your line working for you all day. Toss, flip it down, I'm good. And it takes some getting used to, I know, so I don't expect you to do it perfect, but that's the main thing. The main thing is watch to make sure that before you start turning this thing, that it's not all bunched up and it's gonna get up under there. Well, we did get one on, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping better it would have been on her. On, on her. But it happens like that sometimes when you're trying to show somebody something. Fish don't know how to cooperate. <laughs> you, I mean, you gotta let it go now because you're already open. I mean, you can you can close the bell. Yeah, you just gotta flip it out there. Now close your bell. Now pull, now pull back before you start reeling. What the rod, because you want to make oh. sure that line is straight before you start reeling. Now you can reel. Well, that's just because of the toss. You got to, uh, well, one way you could do, but I, I didn't want to show you that, is that you can actually grab it like this, like you have it, take it by the hand and kind of flip it out and then close your bail. Bring it up, right? Right there is good. And do I close, do I open, whatever no, this is not, called? Don't do anything. Not until you get it to the point where you pick it up right here. Now you grab that first, then you open your bail. Open? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so open is what lets you cast it. Right. As soon as you uh, cast it, you got to cast it though. But I got so I, but I got to hold the string before I... Right. So when, I, when, I go, when it goes out there, it's closed. It's open when, it's, when, you go, when it goes out so there. what is it now? Open. When I hit the water, I do something to that, bring that you, back. You close it, yeah. That's what I just said. Oh, yeah. Well, you said when it was open. I said when it goes out there, it's considered closed. Once I let it go out there, I close it. Right. So close it. Watch yourself. Pull your line up a little bit. There you go. Slowly bring it through. Oh, it's twisted. It's twisted. Oh, you pulled it out. Man, you get nibbles and everything. You can feel it. You feel them tugging. Well, you want. Yeah, because you'll feel a tug, and you won't know until it hits. No. When it hits, you'll be able to feel the difference. See, Just real. We'll show. We'll help you work, work, work through that one. So on a nice muddy day after the flood, we have grab two. We haven't got the ones that we're looking for quite yet, but it's pretty. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> uh-uh, you twist it up. You gotta watch that. That's the biggest thing with a spin caster. Lower your rod tip. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, all right, so, okay. so now you, you pull back on it like that. Here you go. Okay. Re, gotta okay. re, now you're going to reel it in. Come on, pull, reel that in. Go ahead, reel it oh, in. Like, yeah, that? reel it. Okay. Oh, he on there. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now bring it up. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Your first bass. And you did it. <laughs> We're getting some little ones here, but they nice. Got golden brown. That thing is pretty, man. 
<laughs> Come on. Mm. Oh, wait till, wait till, see if we can get land a big one. All right, Pooh, there you go. She's talking about, all right, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I have accomplished what I came out to do. You know, I brought her over here next to this whole food because I know that's her spot. So, uh, we can go over there. Oh, we got to tighten your, uh, your lower back up. Nah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just close that bell back up. No, I knew I wasn't going to do that. I was like, I need to do something to give it back. <laughs> hey, but there you go. Looks like we found the right little spot to catch some of these little ones. They, they be munching right now. There you go. Like a whole bunch in that little area right there. Let me go a little outside of you. There you go. So you felt the difference that time, right? Right, they get the munching on it. And sometimes when you get caught in the grass, just kind of jerk your rod like that to come right through. So we are on the board, ladies and gentlemen. The first lady has caught her fish. And uh, we good to go now. If we don't do nothing else, we've already accomplished the task. My wife has been fishing with me today. I thank her once again. I thank the Lord for 22 years of marriage. And her willingness to come out and fish right before the rainstorm. <laughs> No, you could actually leave it in the water and kind of pop it, but I get it. Yeah, like I said, you get grass, you kind of just jerk it real hard and come off. See if anything hanging around these docks. Tighten it all the way up before you start reeling it in. There you go, pull it all the way up. Yeah. And when you're doing it, you pull it back. It kind of gets them. Go ahead, go ahead. You're going to reel them in. All right, you good. Singing to the fishes? I was killing the turtle, don't bite my line. Oh. Come to that barrel, you can feel and see what you're feeling with. So that kind of tells you how slow to play it and all the other kind of good stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he like her. Uh, he just talking. <laughs> sort of to both. <laughs> you think you got it though? Now pull back real strong. <laughs> right, up, pull up, pull up. 
and, and wine, wine. Pull up and wine. Yeah, yeah, you got oh you oh you got a nice one. Oh, 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 oh. Woo, me. <laughs> Keep bringing it in. Oh, he up on you. Oh no. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Wait, hold, hold, hold. Okay. Bring the rod back to me so I can get I can get it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she did it without me. <laughs> That's about 15 inches right there. That's a two pounder, girl. All right. Oh, that's another high five right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna send you back. Ooh. Oh, he's good. Oh, you wanna hold him? No. <laughs> Look at that dude. That's a nice fish right there, Pooh. Well, one thing we know, they bite you. <laughs> oh, but look, the thing is gone. What's gone? Oh, we got, we got more. It just fell off. No, no, no. All right. Say thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you, Mr. Fishy. All right. Sorry, go swim and live. Now, see, I am just throw him in. So we can put him right there. Look at him, he gone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Lord. Oh man, it's great guys when you can get out and do things with your spouse. Have a good time at it. You know, she's learning. I know there's a little frustration curve, but she's getting it. And I gotta reload her up. So hey, from Big John back, y'all I'm gonna go ahead now and enjoy some fishing with my wife. If we catch some more fish, I'll be back to show you what we catch. Uh, but now I just want to spend some time with her and uh, do this thing. All right, so look, take care of your loved ones. Take care of your family. Make sure you get out this weekend, do some things. I'll keep an eye for any snakes. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, that just ended the fishing trip. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not messing with you. I don't think you are. I am. It's, you know, it's always water stayed along the edge of the water, though. Right. All right. Last cast and we out. You see that line moving? That's what I was trying to show you. I'm like, you know they're here. It's just a matter of uh, getting them to bite. But that was a classic case of the line moving in the water. You're able to see it moving so you know how to respond to it. Oh, snap. He look real good in the tongue. Which means he gonna be a, you gonna take a picture? Whenever you go, just make sure y'all you incorporate whatever it is that both of you like. And I guarantee 22 years later or more, you'll still be together, you'll still be married. But like I said, she don't, she ain't crazy about fishing, but she out here because I like to be out here. And this is my little anniversary gift. And so once again, I appreciate it. Anything you want to say, babe? Happy anniversary, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's Reverend Big John. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. We'll see you later.